Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Megabox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a Pro PLA filament from 3D Fuel. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is a Pro PLA from 3D Fuel. They say on the box it's a Pro PLA in the bracket APLA plus that has higher impact strength than APS and PLA with a heat resistance that of APS. So that will be interesting to see how, how it performs. Uh, they say that you have to print it at 210 to 240 degrees with a bed of a room temperature to 60 degrees and normal PLA speeds 4200 millimeters per second. I printed this filament out in 225 degrees and was quite happy with the results. So let's have a better look at the prints itself. So the first print I did was this retraction test and it was giving very good results. There's a tiny amount of stringing at the topmost part, but other than that it was looking very good. No special issues, a tiny amount you can see here of a string, but nothing too serious. So I was quite happy with this layer strength on the spikes seems to be pretty good. It's quite, quite difficult to break them off, so that's a good sign. I then printed out the bridging test, and that also came out excellent. There was a tiny bit of drooping here on the longest span, but nothing serious, and this was looking quite good. And I'm quite happy with this, this print. I then printed out the overhang tests, and I printed two of them, one facing towards the fan and one going away from the fan. And actually the one that was going away from the fan turned out to be a little bit better. There's a small defect here on the corner, but on the one that was facing the fan, there was a little bit more issues. I don't know what was happening there, but this was printed on my Prusa MK2 printer. So this otherwise turned out excellent and there was no real drooping on the ends so it was quite quite good so i'm quite happy with this and um, this seems to be pretty tough filament um, it's not as brittle as pla and it's it's bends more and um, when i try to break it off and um, here i have the break tests and um, this one printed out on the bed like this and um, this one on the bed like this so i can test layer addition uh, it was quite strong uh, pretty strong for most materials, so that was good. And here on this one, it was quite difficult to break. Uh, it was like not giving in uh, and bending a little bit before it broke, so it's not as brittle as PLA. It's pretty tough material, I would say. In this test print, here's a bridging test that came out excellent, and also the overhang tests here were excellent. And the fine details in this tower here is very good and the underneath surface of the dome is also good so this is looking very good and this deep red color is excellent also i'm quite happy with those prints then i printed out two of my maker coins and they came out excellent there was absolutely no issues and those are printed out hollow so there's no infill on them and as you can see the details in the letters are very good. The logo at the back is very good also, so it was giving me excellent results. So this was my quick look at the Pro PLA from 3D Fuel. I was really happy with this filament and it was printing for me at 225 degrees, giving me excellent results. It's a very strong material and not as brittle as PLA and it's very easy to print with. I had no issues like stringing or warping or anything like that and I haven't done any tests on heat resistance but they say it has good heat resistance but I haven't tested that one but I would highly recommend this filament it is a good option and um, I've got several 3d fuel filaments over the course of the Megabox Mondays episode and they all turned out to be a great vendor I think and I, I think I will order a full roll those materials if I have the option to have it shipped to Iceland and do a full review. So I would give this film a go. I was quite happy with it. But for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.